Hello friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Pods. In this video, we are going to learn about input and output methods using a demo session. So we have uh, learned so far uh, input activities, input methods and in output activities and methods which are available in UiPath Studio, right? In our past videos. If you are uh, new to this channel, please go through the videos uh, in this channel which can give you a clear information on the available input activities, output activities and input and output methods. So now in this session, we are going to uh, use this session as a workshop, a demo session for using input and output activities to our best. So the question here is we are going to find the weather using Google. Create a robo which finds the weather of a specific city using Google. So the city is going to be a dynamic value. So you are supposed to take the city value from the user. So now let us quickly open our UiPath Studio. And before that, I request you to please do subscribe this channel. And for more videos, please click on the bell icon and select all options so that all the videos, whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification. And also, if you like this video, please provide your like. And if you have any suggestions or uh, feedback, please provide the suggestions and feedback in the comment session. Please do share with your friends and colleagues too. Now let's dive into our question, this practice session. Open your UiPath Studio. I always request you to please do practice along with me so that you will never forget the concept. You will get clear understanding. You will get clear information if you practice along with the video. Okay. So now I have created a sequence here. Google weather. Now let us have a sequence in this. <coughs> okay. So let us rename this sequence. So as I tell, uh, as I always request you to rename the activities for readability okay so also give an annotation annotation giving annotation is the best practice which provides the clear information on what you are going to do with that particular activity or the uh, workflow okay now uh, the first step is we are supposed to open the Google, right? So just open browser, use an open browser. Okay. Let us use this open browser. Okay. I'm going to give www.google.com, right? Now let me give the type as chrome because i'm going to work with the chrome now right so that's it save it so we'll we have opened the browser next what we are supposed to do create a robot which finds weather of a specific city using google so before opening this browser we are supposed to ask the user right we are supposed to capture city from the user for that what what input method we should uh, use we are supposed to use the activity um uh, input dialog so that we can get the data for city okay give a title city and ask user here hi which city whether you want no. Okay. So capture that value whatever been provided by the user into a CT value. A variable. I have created a variable. Let's go into this and give it the sequence. Okay. It is fine now. Now in browser what we are supposed to do is so suppose we have a browser. Let me run this. Uh, we 
people are supposed to search for the weather of this city in this search bar, right? Before that, we are supposed to recognize this, right? So now let us add, type into activity. Type into activity, which is an input activity. And indicate the bar here, right? And then what we are supposed to pass here, the city value, right? So for that, I'm going to use weather in city. Where is our city value? It is in your city value variable, right? You are supposed to pass this, okay? Now, after sending this, after typing it here, we are supposed to click on this button, right? So can we use, we can use click option or we can pass a, a what to say, shortcut key clicking uh, to enter, to use enter just. So suppose weather in Bangalore, enter. On enter also it will work, right? So two ways we can use. We can go with this button, Google search or we can use click. Now let me use just shortcut enter. Uh, what is the one? Send hot tea. Send hot tea. Okay. Then enter. Where is enter? Okay. That's it. Now, when you click on enter, you will get some data here. Let us, let us, uh, run until here how it works okay it is opening a google browser oh before that it is asking for this right drive chennai okay now it is supposed to open a google browser super weather in chennai okay now perfect it is working fine now if you could see here this is our output how to know whether we uh, whether it has landed to this output screen or not we, we can make sure whether this google google logo been uh, what to say visible or not exists or not right whether this if this image exists then we can uh, say that search been completed right without that we cannot we are not supposed to get the data right we are not supposed to read the data if we blindly go uh, and ask the executor bot executor to read data it might take some time right sometimes it works in a fraction of seconds or sometimes it may work in uh, some two to three seconds so for that to avoid such uh, exceptional scenarios let us do one thing let us use find element okay find element let me find after clicking on enter i would like to find this particular google yes logo and the output will be a element let me use control k and we can say google element okay so, which kind of variable it is? It is a UI element. Right? Let me give it this scope. Okay. Now, let us save this. And let us use if condition. Condition is nothing. What is our uh, UI element? It is Google element. Am I passing the correct variable? It's Google element, right? Okay. By now you might have understand what I'm trying to do here. I just want before reading the data from the output, the weather report, 
I would like to make sure whether it's been loaded or not. For that, loading in the sense, I just want to check whether this image exists or not. If this image exists, it will be saved into this Google element, UI element variable. Now, I'm using an if else, else if. If else condition. Okay. Uh, if else condition where I'm checking whether this Google element been found or not. Okay. Let me write something for better understanding here in both these cases. If the element exists or not is nothing of this true then we will say that google logo not found right here we can say google logo found right if we got the google google logo we can read the value that means whether from this picture now before going to that let us run this again it will be asking for delhi let me give a delhi now it has opened whether in delhi now it let us see what is the output here. Logo found. Success. Right. Now we are supposed to read the data from this output. Okay. Let me close all this Google. Okay. Where is our notepad? Right. Now how to get the data? We can use multiple output activities out of that i would like to if you if you observe this let me okay whether in chennai if you observe this this is in a kind of picture right how to get data from this now let me use get full text okay i'm going to use get full text and give some I can read this one okay and save it to control K STR weather now let me message box and uh, can we say like weather in your city value is today is where we have saved this to your weather okay let us save this now let us run this again i would like to know the weather in rajasthan Superb. Right, it has read this. Now, since I have selected this completely, it has given a proper value. Now, I would like to close the application. So, after this, I want to close the browser. Okay, close browser. I 
can say close window save this and let us run this again run fine so it is asking for CP let me give Hyderabad yeah we are in Hyderabad perfect and I click on OK so the uh, window also being closed perfect so now let us go back to our question so we have created a robo which finds the weather of a specific city using Google so that's it we have used multiple input and output methods here I hope this session is useful to you and helpful to you for better understanding this UI automation Thank you so much for your support to this channel. We'll meet you through our next videos. Until then, please keep learning, keep watching our videos and happy automation. Bye-bye.